So this is the starter activity for lesson two. This lesson is all about gases of the air. And I want you to have a go first of all at seeing if you can fill in the table using the information provided in the box below. So here at the bottom it tells us four different gases, the names of them, helium, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. There are four formulas. The formulas are not matching the names of the gases there. And then there are four percentages. Now we've got um, five columns to complete, the name of the gas, the formula, the actual percentage, which you can Google, the approximate percentage, and the fraction then to work out what the fraction actually is. So if we start with the gas that's most abundant in the air that we breathe in, the one that there is most of, that should be nitrogen. Nitrogen exists in the air that we breathe in at 78%. This is its approximate, but also the actual percentage as well of the air that is breathed in. And the formula for nitrogen is an N. Please make sure that you put it as a capital N because um, the elements always have capital letters for the first letter and lowercase then for the next letter. The next most abundant is the gas that we need most of. The approximate percentage 21% and that is our friend OG, the oxygen molecule, O2. But the actual percentage is actually 20.95%. The next gas in our atmosphere is what we're making inside our bodies to release. But there is a very, very small amount in the air that we breathe in. And the actual amount of carbon dioxide in the air today, scientists reckon, is at 0.04%. In most textbooks, it will tell you it's 0.03%. This is because it has increased slightly the amount of CO2, so capital C, capital O and a 2, because of increases in pollution levels. And if we're not careful, this level will go rise even higher and will increase the temperatures on our planets and increase global warming. So that leaves us with the last gas in the air. And it's not strictly just one gas. It's a mixture of what we call unreactive or inert gases. These include helium, but we've also got argon, krypton, not to be confused with kryptonite, there's no such thing, xenon, and radon, and neon neon and radon. So all of these are very small amounts of gases. And there's actually 0.99%. All of these gases together make up somewhere between 1% to 2%, depending on where you are on planet Earth at any one time. But the formula for helium is capital H, but it, you can see it has a little lowercase e. So if we want to have a look at what the fraction of um, gas in the air, we know that percentages are out of 100. So our fraction for nitrogen would be 78 over 100. If we reduce that down to the smallest number we can, we would have 39 over 50. For oxygen, if we go with 21, 21 over 100, and we can't reduce that down, 21 won't go into 100. And for carbon dioxide, 0.03 over 100. And for helium, krypton, argon, xenon, neon and radon, 0.99 over 100. So make sure you've filled in your table. And then the next short video that goes alongside this lesson is a practical task, looking at which contains more oxygen, the air that we breathe in, inspired, 
or inhaled air or the air that we breathe out, expired um, or exhaled air. And that's on the next page in your book.